Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Successful Woman's Mindset TV show podcast. I'm so excited to have another fabulous author from the book that we've put together with 20 plus authors called The Successful Woman's Mindset. I have the fabulous Megan Zimmick here, but before I introduce her, I want to share with you once again, my name is Galit Ventura Rosen, and I'm excited that you're a part of this. So welcome, Megan. <laughs> Thank you. So Megan Zimmick is a cosmetologist, and her chapter in the book is called The Movement of Success and Checklist for the Creative. So my first question for you, Megan, is what does the statement, the successful woman's mindset, mean to you when you hear that? So the successful women's mindset means to me is that you, you're able to conquer anything that comes your way, no matter what life throws at you, because success starts in the mind. It doesn't have anything to do with the external factors outside of the body. It all starts from within. So if you can really focus on being able to not let your emotions like dictate your behavior, have good time management skills, which is the life insurance to all success, then you will be prepared for anything that comes your way because life does not discriminate against anyone and success is something that that really any well really any true success story has that one moment that defines the rest of your life where either you're you're at rock bottom maybe or you've just had enough of something and and then you decide that no matter what life comes your way you are you're going to you're going to be successful so it really does start within the mind i love that i love Thank that you. you said that because one of the things that you said that stood out with me is success doesn't discriminate. That's just such a brilliant remark. I completely agree with you. People sometimes see these people that are successful and they think it's not reachable and they don't recognize that anybody can be there if they choose to. And like you said, put their mind to it. So I think that was a perfect, perfect, perfect definition of that. Thank you so much. So next question. What motivated you to write this chapter in the book? My motivation came from a lot of the stuff that I have experienced personally through life. Struggles, I mean, I've, I've faced a lot of difficult things and just knowing that as long as I, you know, put my, myself in the right headspace, and I am able to not let my emotions dictate my behavior and I practice good time management skills, I can overcome and conquer anything that life's thrown at me to really get me to where I want to be in life. And where I want to be in life, where I, I envision it, is not where I started. So it all started in the mind and then it became something that I had manifested into my life. Yes. That. Yes. And the so I wanted to share. Yeah. Yes, and the biggest piece about that is not just the idea that it started in your mind, Megan, but we also know that you've put in the action steps. You've put in what it takes to get where you want to be. And I love that you said that, where I am today to where I want to be. And I know you've gone through some really challenging things in your life, which a lot of people in this world will never go through. And I know you talk about that in great detail in your chapter, which is like, the, I swear, anybody watching, I read the first sentence of the chapter and my I was already biting my fingernails. <laughs> so Megan did such a great job writing. <laughs> he also has a story that you will step back and say to yourself, oh my gosh, if this woman can do this, I can do that. And isn't that really one of the key factors of your motivation though, Megan? Yes, it is to um, let know, anybody know that that it is possible to whatever that you want to have in your life that you've envisioned and you don't have. You can totally manifest into your life. It doesn't matter where you come from or what you've been through, um, anybody that is determined to succeed will succeed. 
I love that. And <laughs> let's go back to your chapter title for a second. I want to ask you about that so people can understand. You said the movement of success, which makes sense because you move towards it, and checklist for the creative. What do you mean by the checklist for the creative? So I've always been really free spirited and not very structured in life. I kind of just been everywhere. I mean, I didn't really know what I was going to do, but I finally was able to come up with something because I consider myself a creative uh, and that would help other other creatives out there, you know, that are more free spirited, less structured and, you know, time. There's just, you know, I got the read about it but it's very simple and super easy to follow. I love so that. That's why I came up with it. <laughs> I love that you came up with that title and Megan did. She came up with this title on her own. She came up with the idea of this chapter on her own and wrote it herself, which is so important because this entire book is based on women that wanted to share a story as well as Megan's calling it a checklist and some people have checklists some people have steps that anybody that purchases this book or reads this book can connect with so this chapter is great for creative people because Megan recognizes as a creative that hey I kind of like to be a free spirit and I don't really like to follow what other people say that I'm supposed to so let me make something up put it on paper that I've experienced which is you Megan and that other creatives can also maybe be motivated to do as well. Yes. I love that. Yes, I love that's it. perfect. I love it, I love it. Next question. What is the one thing you would love people to know about you? Well, um, I guess the one thing I would like people to know from me is that is that I am just an example of if you really want to do something that you're able to and that it's it's possible for anybody no matter what backgrounds or setbacks you have in life and difficulties it'll just make you stronger in the end I want people to take away that I'm more like a broken bone one that has been broken it comes back and it once it heals it's stronger than it was before so I don't know. It just That's makes you basically scene. tough as nails. We should have put that in your chapter. The next book, Megan. I love <laughs> that. I love okay. like a broken bone that heals and comes back together. And I don't want to give away all the secrets of your chapter because it's so fabulous that people really need to read it to experience it. And reading your chapter really is an experience, in my opinion. I want you to share just a little bit without giving away all the golden nuggets, okay? A little bit about you, about where you are today versus where you've been. So people can really understand that we're not sitting here and going, yeah, our lives are perfect and it was easy to get here. <laughs> no, it's been a journey, hasn't it? Yes, it's been, it started a long time ago um, in my childhood and the one thing I, I noticed a lot is when I was powerless you know over a lot of my situations in my youth I mean I was in foster care my social worker had put an ad for me in the paper like 14 15 year old girl needs home because she couldn't find a placement for me because I was difficult and what I've taken from that is difficult is just a strong-willed person that is, you know, gonna face any obstacles life throws at me. I I wasn't ever difficult. <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wasn't ever really difficult. <clears throat> sorry, that just came at the worst no, moment. No, it's it was more like <clears throat> it's so interesting because sometimes when we share our stories, it happens. It's very normal. We cough or all of a sudden we have a problem breathing. And I think that's a little bit to do with our voice, if you think about it. So please go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, so I moved around a lot. Um, I was in and out of homeless shelters, uh, in between placements. I have a lifelong stocking order in place and I just, 
you know, thought I was going to live in fear the, my whole life or never be able to accomplish anything or have anything or have anyone really, or, you know, looked for something that I didn't want. And I always had this dream in my, my head. And I thought it was silly because I didn't think it was possible for me, but it turns out that, that it is. And so I have that now. I have my own family. And I have to ask you this question because of that statement. You had a dream in your head and okay. you thought it was silly, but, and you didn't think it was possible. What is that one thing that made you finally realize it was? It was possible. I That's think it was, I think it was just realizing that, that, that was just, that was just not good enough for me. I was going to have it. I wanted to have it. I just think I had enough and was like, I do deserve this and made it happen. I mean, it, did, it was not easy at all, but it was so worth it and so rewarding when you actually like work for stuff. It, it's the most rewarding feeling I've ever had in my life. I love that. <laughs> and I love more than anything that the vulnerability of this book, not just with you as an author, but all of the authors, are sharing stories I like to call them your journey and I know you do too Megan where there's a journey that you've been through and there's a journey that's gotten you today and no it hasn't been easy and you've gone through some crazy things that I'm not going to share with people right now but they'll read it in the chapter you've gone, okay. some, you've gone through some really crazy challenging things that most people will never experience in their lives right which you're thankful for that but it's not yes. about what you've gone through. It's about what you've chosen to do with it and where it's gotten you today. So tell a little bit before we go, tell people a little bit about where you are today in your mindset and a little bit about your life today. Okay. So in my mindset now, I know that everything's possible as long as I'm willing to do the work and not let you know my emotions get in the way uh, or you know channeling them to into a healthy outlet so writing has always been super healthy for me exercising spending time with my loved ones and then just really being able to enjoy every single step i take on the way whether it's the first one or the last one on that journey in my my mind it was my responsibility to heal from those things and it took me a long time to realize that 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 was no longer you know their responsibility it was never their responsibility that was mine and i didn't realize that and as soon as i realized that my life changed so <laughs> it changed for the better because there is there is silver linings to everything you know everything can be used um for something good so that's what I believe in my faith. Anything that can be, you know, a bad situation can be used yes. for good. Like, yes. Know, and part this of this kind of situation, process, I know. Right. So part of your process uh, really was this realization, this realization that, wait, I can get past this. I can move on. I can find the next level of my life instead of letting these things hold you back. That's what it sounds like. Perfect. Perfect. Well, I love everything you've shared and I don't know, I think you got muted by accident. So I'm going to have you unmute yourself just so we can wrap. There you go. I didn't want you to not be able to say goodbye. Well, I appreciate you being a part of this book. I appreciate your vulnerability. I'm so excited for the listeners to read your chapter. So we want to make sure that they do. And thank you, Megan. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. So before we and go. And you can find me on social. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. That's exactly what I was going to ask. Go ahead, Megan. I'm so ahead of myself sometimes. Uh, you can fi find me on social media, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on TikTok as Megan Zimmick and Hushko Beauty. Beautiful. And we'll have all Thank the you to connect as well with this video and with the show more than anything anybody watching or listening today 
you want to take a moment and you want to visit Amazon and find the Successful Women's Mindset, which is going to be 21 stories, 21 journeys, and such amazing different topics that anybody's going to be able to connect with at least one of these authors, if not multiple, because who doesn't need a little inspiration and motivation? And you can also learn more about the book at the successfulwomensmindset.com. My name is Galit Ventura Rosen. I'm so excited to have all these authors be a part of this book. And I'm looking forward to hearing about the next story, as well as anybody that's listening or watching. We'd love to know what you thought about the book as well. Make sure to leave reviews on Amazon so others can also be inspired and motivated by these amazing authors. So thank you everyone.